Medium Red Cyclone! Aria! Yes sir, yes sir. Welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better Real Podcast. I'm your host, Lee Beans, and I'm here with Mark with the mic. What is going on, and Happy New Year to everybody in the world. Happy 2022. Yes sir, hopefully 2022 is better than 2021. Um, we got a sad one right, right before 2022 started, and the news of Betty White passing away. I saw I know resident uh, super fan. Yep. Austin Creed was very broken up about it. I saw his saw his shrine. He was supposed to meet her at her birthday party. Oh, he got invited to her birthday party. I do know they said it was her birthday is this month, right? Uh, Next week. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So it hit harder because he was supposed to meet her at her birthday party. He got invited to the birthday party. Okay. Unfortunately. And he got to like talk to her like for a couple like hours and shit like that. It was like, mm-hmm. he talked about it. And um I think I think he talked on Twitter or something like that. But yeah, he was really sad about it. Yep, yep. Uh, most of the, uh, like the world's sad. Um ninety nine is a long time, so she lived a long life and she loved she the won. good night. She won. It's all good. Yep. I uh, don't feel really, really too feel Bad, bad, because she she won the game of life, right? Yep. Embrace embrace the happiness she brought to people, and embrace the happiness that she created. She had a lot of good stuff throughout her career, and she was very 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 generous with a lot of the things she used to do. So, yeah, check it out. Um, rest in peace, Betty Wright. That's cool. Also, I know um, R.I.P. to John Madden because Madden too, yeah. That poor man's name is gonna be all over bad video games for a long time. Sadly, yeah. To Glasgow, so, almost twenty-five. So you know, <laughs> it's, it's it's sad to hear that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, I believe he was. Let's say he was eighty-five. Yeah. Right. So again, you get that old, you 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 pretty much won. So it's all good. Yeah, and then also like all the head injuries he had during his career when he was a football player to last that long with actual like mental capacity. That's actually really good. Yeah, but he was out for a minute. Yeah, he well, he stopped little... conversating. He stopped conversating a long time ago. He just retired. No, no, but I mean, yeah. he was done playing. I saw the, the yeah, retrospective yeah. of his career and stuff, and, and yeah. how he turned around the Raiders and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Did not see that. I'm mm-hmm. sure I was alive, but uh, I am, I'm still not a football person. So nah, the Raiders, I think, was a little right before us. So it was before the 80s? Like 82, 81. Oh okay, all right, all right. So I I didn't get to see it. Yeah. But regardless, me not being a football person still knows the impact of the Madden guy, right? Yep. John Madden. And you know his you know his voice, so. He know that game. Everyone been buying it. For I believe many, he many was years. the tough acting to acting guy. Yep. <laughs> and that too. <laughs> tough so acting to acting. Yep, yep. He that's did what that I too. know his voice. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't played a Madden game. Oh, that was way before us. It was uh, 70, uh, 69 to 78 he coached Raiders. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a little bit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but, yeah, he's known for the, mag- the mega franchise of EA uh, Madden football. And uh, still going to go on to this day. Still going to be the same gameplay. Sadly, they have not made a good game in quite some time. Or they just made the same game, just polished up. So, hopefully... Seeing that he passed, they'll do him right and do a good game this year. No more man. <laughs> new name, new name, new nah, name. I think they're gonna new keep. Coach. I think they're gonna keep the Madden title on the game. New coach. So who who's the next in line? Who would you nominate um, to be the next next name on football game? I, I don't think they're gonna change it. I think Madden. No, no, is I, I, stay. I'm sure. I'm just asking what you who. who who could you put as uh, next name on a football game? Huh. I don't know. I don't know either. I can't really tell you. Tom like, Brady. I, I, I think <laughs> about that now. Like, 
who could you even put as a coach name to put on a football game? I don't know. Blow I think check. about that for basketball. Like, is there anybody ever that Pat Riley? That was a long time ago. He had know. he had a basketball game. Yeah. Well, Bill Belichick, I guess, because he's probably has the most titles as coach. All right, all right, all right. So maybe basketball he is. wise, I guess. Uh, I don't know basketball wise. Because coaches go off and on. I guess Pat. It's Phil Jackson get a game. Nah, he's he ain't playing. He ain't doing anything. No, no, the he but again, Pat Riley had a had a basketball game. Yeah. He didn't. You know, what I'm saying his time had passed as well for him being a the man. So yeah. that was like the '90s and stuff that his game came out. Like past then, it was it was uh, Phil Jackson with like his teams. Wasn't he the Bulls? Uh, the Bulls, yeah, but he and never he like, was, oh, had a game. No, no, I'm just saying, yeah. like, but he he's probably like the only other coach that reached that status, right? Yeah. So yeah, give him a new new franchise, Phil Jackson. There you go. <laughs> There's gonna be a bunch of yoga people. That's what he does now. Yeah, Phil he's Jackson a, yoga? Zen, a Zen master. <laughs> it's so be even a- better, you can make a wrestling game a combo yeah. with a basketball game. Is him and DDP? There you go. There you go. DDP yoga. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he passed. So hopefully, again, hopefully, this encouragement that Madden passed make a better game. Yeah, don't put uh, don't put the dead's name on bad games. How yeah. dare you? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So well, and more positive stuff. You got anything new? Uh, is anybody uh, hit your wallet this week, Mark? So, um, so what I heard was uh, what I thought about doing is, um, so NECA just put out that they're doing a Mauser pack and the foot soldiers. So you can create your armies. It has unlimited ways you could, you could buy as many as you want. You know, it has, doesn't have a limit. So I was like, I don't have the foot soldiers. So I got three of them and then I got one pack of Mausers. So do they do it in a way that's uh, uh, affordable? Yes. Because I can imagine people going to be spending a lot of money on trying to build a foot a foot soldier army. So the foot soldiers themselves are, I think they're about tw- they were like twenty bucks each, twenty five bucks each. They don't have a they don't have a pack sale. They don't they come had the pack, pack so, so now the like the foot soldier two pack that if I try to go go for it right now it goes for about a hundred hundred ten dollars. So what the hell is it? For a two pack. What are they doing? What are they doing to make this affordable to people who are not collectors? So I just want to buy it for twenty five dollars each. What so if we- you try to go, if you try to go back to get the old, uh, the old two pack, you're gonna pay about a hundred dollars right now. No, but they don't. That's not. That's discontinued. Is what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, they don't have it. All. Okay. Yeah. So they do a single, and then also comes with the the master mount, the master mold head that they had. Kind of reminds me of master mold. That's why I said it. But it has like a the smart uh, foot soldier head, and it also has the the police hat and shit like that. So you, it has extra stuff in it, so you can actually mimic it and stuff like that. So I got three of those, and then the Mausers comes with like ten Mausers and the little mice, and it comes with a little detail stuff. So I was like, okay, that'd be a cool little like um, decoration and shit. As long as they ain't out there gouging. Cause, you know. That wasn't bad. It, uh, uh, it was altogether with like ninety dollars. And I got three so foot soldiers. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. All right, all right. Yeah, all so right. it wasn't that bad. I did a little cleaning up of my stacks of boxes I had because I just brought up, um, I brought up one of my shelves, my movie turtle shelf. I brought it up a little bit. So the other two are going to be, one is going to be the villains and the other one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably do a Power Ranger one. I don't know what one though because I have a lot of Power Ranger figures right now and mm-hmm. they're they're getting just more and more. So who's the latest ones to, to join the show? Uh, SWAT Red should be coming um, in uh, in the next two days. Okay. Uh, the A Squad were Red, which is the female A Squad leader. Other than that, that's it. They haven't really been coming out. So little by little, I think there's com- some coming out next month. So I gotta figure that out. I also got these things. Uh, shout out to Tenacious T that got me. He got me these miniature Ninja Turtle figures that come look like a miniature like action figure box. Looks really cool. Mm-hmm. It's like the size of my thumb of the figures. It's like the size of my thumb. So if you actually see the picture, I've had my thumb right next to it, so you can see how big it is. Mm-hmm. It was actually really cool. So yeah, he got me that, and then 
yeah, I was just trying to get uh, or somewhat organization into this because it's Christmas and everyone adding stuff to stuff. So yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got a lot of the NECA turtles. I'm looking at them. And it's a lot. I probably have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 boxes of all the cartoon turtles. And that's not all too shipped packs. yet? Not shipped yet? No, no, I'm saying that I have on my floor right now. Oh, okay. okay. They're all two packs. And then I have the one, two, three, four, four single packs. And that's um, the... Metalhead, um, Chrome Dome, the Attack of the Killer Pizza, the. the, the the, the monster and uh, the crane, the body crane. Okay, okay. Did they release the small one? Oh no. Uh, yeah, uh, he's with the shredder. I have that in the two pack. Okay, okay. Oh, the one that comes with a little walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's cool. And then I have the triceratops. I have both. Of the, I have all three of them. I have the frogs. I have all four of them. I have Bebop and Rocksteady, I have Shredder and Slash, I have, um, I ha I'm pretty, I, I got almost everything, I'm pretty proud of that, how I got everything about, like, really breaking the bank for each one, but there's some I'm missing, which I don't care about, I'm just like, whatever, if I'm missing, I'm missing it, but I got the characters I like, I guess, so, I'm fine with mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. It's getting ridiculous, though. And I yeah, I mean, it sounds like... <laughs> Yes, it does sound ridiculous. <laughs> um, but they haven't announced anything. I think the the Frankenstein Raphael is getting shipped soon, so okay, I think that's All coming right. in soon too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there's not much. Uh, it's not much new because the holidays, so they haven't really been announcing anything. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, that hasn't really I did see uh, sh shout outs to major figure wrestling podcast. I got to see on their feed, uh, Smart Mark posted his, his uh, Marvel Legends. Yeah, he's getting ridiculous like, collection in his last week, so at least there's still stuff coming out, right? so this, at least it's out currently. So, for Marvel Legends, if I do awesome. collect something with Marvel Legends, what I thought I will probably do, and it looks like it's feasible and possible, mm -hmm. is uh, if any, if anything, I'll do the classic Spider-Man figures. Okay. The you mean the ones that have the, the 90s thing on it? Yeah. I think those are the ones I'll go for. Okay. Because they seem possible. They do have some are rare, but they're, I've seen them for not that expensive price. And I actually like the boxes and shit. And if I would do Marvel Legends, I think that's where I would, my route. I, I think I would, even that I would just collect the Spider Mans and all the versions of Spider Man kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, but I don't want to do that because that's gonna be expensive. <laughs> and I sold mine, and I was like, no more, no more Marvel. But the things that they come out with and stuff like that, they look so dope. But it, cause I watched Don Housing, uh, he fucking. Uh, Unboxings and doing unboxings of the the Fantastic Four and stuff, and I was like, "Yo, that actually looks really dope." But you know, I don't want it. I can't buy it right now. And, and I see Fantastic him, Four is from what what era? It's supposed to be the old one. It's supposed like, to be the classic too. Made? So it's supposed to be like the Fantastic Four cartoon box mm -hmm. figures. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be like that. And then um, he has the Sentinel. He opened that. But which up. cartoon? The nineties cartoon. The nineties right? cartoon. Not the, yeah, not the old one. No, no more. Okay. Is that one? Yeah. So he had, he always did like mm -hmm. unboxing stuff. Oh, I got coffee. I got Don Housing coffee, coffee housing. No, sure. I know I saw the picture. It's actual. Coffee. I have it's not seen real coffee. I have not seen what the actual coffee looks like though. What's it? Um. Well, so what it, what's the yet. what's your verdict? Has it come? Oh, in you yet? haven't. So I'll have it a yet. full review okay. of the coffee. All I saw was okay. that he has a coffee, and I was like, damn, I might have to get that. I had a little extra money because my mom hooked me up for Christmas, and I was like. Yeah, I might actually get that. So I got two packs, and I posted it. They actually shared my 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 post as well because I I ordered two packs to make him more rich. That's what I wrote. Let's see, what's the the description for like the flavors or anything? Is it no? Is they oh, there's not much of a description. Flavor. It's just more of Dan Helsing. Like Dan Helsing needs your money, so please buy it. 
That's messed up. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that also don't give a damn what it tastes like. He wants your money. Uh, I've seen so many shirts. Like, is pissed off. Yeah, they have so many shirts. He has so many shirts. He's actually going to start his own uh, his own uh, sh uh, site too. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. That house seems going crazy. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. most over wrestler that's not wrestling right now is fucking Dan Housing. Yeah, that's right. He's not wrestling. He injured. This is true. He created the Ass Boys T-shirt, making money off. I saw the boys. sign on. I saw the sign Billy Gunn had on AEW Dark. Billy Gunn loves this shirt. I, he's <laughs> yeah, he's happy. He had he carried the sign to the ring that had the name of the Gun Club. It was crossed out mm -hmm. at the bottom in pink. It said Ass Boys. So he's on board, even though those are his own sons that yeah. have that, that nickname. Yep, yep. He's just laughing at it. <laughs> so. I love it. It's fun. But yeah, that housing is be one to watch next year. Mm-hmm. Well, this year, not right, next year. Yeah, this right? year. Is this his, year. Leg, his leg's going to heal this year, right? Yeah, yeah. This year. So. Yeah, yeah. so, oh, that's what we forgot to do in the Bad Boys, the year, the year and shit. We could do that for next week. Why not? Yeah, Everybody else did this, so yeah, why not? Yeah. We do our so we get. I have. I still have to structure my list. That's why. There's so much. I up. just made sure. I just went down other people's lists and was like, "Oh yeah, I remember that." Because yeah. a lot of stuff I forget. Yeah, same here. Like I had to go through. I had to just see examples of things that happened did you, this year. Did you remember Daniel uh, Brian Danielson for Minoru Suzuki? I I kind of did, I but did. I. I forgot. I shouldn't have forgot that. Sadly, it was on YouTube and not actual TV. I forgot, but like, shouldn't have. Shouldn't have been on YouTube. Should have been it's on live TV. Well, you know, I'm not mad at him, though. I'm, no, not I'm just saying. Because at least you can always watch it there for free. Yeah, that's true. Um, I watched uh, Book of Boba Fett. It started this uh, last week. It was actually quite good. Now, what is that, a television show? So, it's a spinoff from The Mandalorian, uh, starring Boba Fett. Is this a different man? Uh, same guy. As in, like, we know what they look like. Is it a different same guy. man in us? Oh, it's the same guy? Yeah. Okay. He's in Bar So, it's the same guy from Bar Bar? All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Glad uh, to see he still has work. <laughs> there you go. Well, he was found in the rain carpet. He didn't die. He burned himself out. They so can I we... show um, him yeah, okay, getting Okay, okay. I was going to ask, Merck, do, do they finally put that to rest? What happens here? And yeah, yeah. Do... So they actually show at the beginning of the, the beginning of the show. They show him how he got out. Now, is it convincing and cool or does it look half-assed? No, like... he burned the shit out of it. Now, does it make you wonder why he never came back? Um, he was in, He was in hiding and he got captured. And he was trying. To, he was in the backstage and shit. He was trying to um, take over for Jabba the Hutt and shit. For Jabba? Yeah. He still works for him. No, Jabba's dead. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Wait, so did he know? Uh, yeah. Okay. He figures it out and stuff. It's okay. pretty good so far. It's only one episode. Uh, I think it's gonna be airing every every Wednesday. I think mm -hmm. it's gonna be six to eight. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure about that. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna be cool. Um, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you get to finish uh, Hawkeye? I did. Because that was also the end. I the really end enjoyed it. I yeah, really I thought it was cool. It. I like the tie-in with the Kingpin. Me too. That's pretty cool. I like how they personify him on that show. Because even on Daredevil, he's not like again. He's a giant man, it's the same actor, right, Mr. Mm -hmm. D'Onofrio? But yeah. they don't really make him seem as a, as unkillable as they do on that those that episode. Yeah. Because <laughs> your man gets hit with some stuff, and I'm just like, come on, man, he's a human being. Why is he still alive? Because <laughs> he's brolic, a human being. <laughs> and I know it ends like on a cliffhanger as far, as far as he's involved, but yeah. we, we know how it is in Marvel. If you ain't die on screen, you ain't dead. Yeah, so. exactly. All we heard was a gunshot. It could have been her shooting the floor would scare him or some shit. She, he could have shot her. He could have had the little up the sleeve joint. You know yeah, exactly. Saying? We don't know. So We'll wait until it the next seasons, is. I guess. It's pretty cool. I actually, shout outs to the, I don't know her last name. I know her name is Florence something. The lady that played Yelena. Yeah. Like, 
in the I did not see Black Widow, but in the oh, she was great. The little a bit of time they had, yeah, her being just a person on that show, I thought was like she's a good actress. Okay, the part where she was eating the macaroni, was like, she was oh, great. Like she was probably one of my favorite things. She was probably the best thing in uh, Black Widow. Really? Yeah, she was probably the best character in Black Widow. Gotcha. Understood. She was really good. She played Paige in uh, Fighting with My Family. Oh, that's who that is? Mm-hmm. Ah, no, no. I did not see that as well. That was so. good. It was funny. It was good? Okay. Yeah, it okay. was funny. It was good. Uh, and Rock produced it. So Steve Merchant mm-hmm. uh, is the one that directed it. Steve Merchant is that tall dude in, fer- in Two Fairy. A tall British dude. It's really big. Sounds familiar. I should know the person's name, but nah, I did not see the Two Fairy. Yeah, he's the one that directed it, and and the, he became Rock's buddy after Two Fairy. So he Rock produced it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, it was really good. Uh, so yeah, she was great. Um, she's gonna be the pretty much the, the widow now until whatever um, phase we're in now. But uh, mm-hmm. I thought she was great. She was she had her funny moments too, and she I like her I like her mannerisms and the characteristics. Um, I really dug Hawkeye. I really dug how grounded they made him. I like because if you really look at Hawkeye MCU versus Hawkeye Marvel, he, they're two completely different characters. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're two different be- dudes. He don't even have kids, and he don't have no kids in in, in uh, the comic. Mm-hmm. So they made him a family man and things like that. And I also like the little hint with uh, Agent Thirteen, which is his wife, which is uh, Agent Thirteen is Mockingbird in the comic books. Oh, okay, so and that makes sense. They get married in the comic too. Mm-hmm. So I, I dug that. I like the fact that she was a, a agent of the shield, and that's how they met. That makes a lot more sense now. And that just he met some lady randomly and had kids with. No, he he actually worked with her and shit like that. So it makes some more sense in that relationship. And the fact that it also showed that Black Widow and her were close because they also worked in Shield. Uh, okay. Because Black makes Widow sense. had a good relationship with her family. Like she she loved the, his family so. She had a big relationship with them. Mm-hmm. So I dug that. I dug that a lot. I thought um, the chick that played uh, Kate Bishop was perfect. I think they could not cast anyone else as her. I think she did a p- amazing job as Kate Bishop. And I just loved, liked a lot of the little things. I liked the the, the freaking mafia, the the, 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 the what was it? Hey, bro. Yeah, bro. I thought the guys yes. were hilarious. Mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. the sweatsuit gang and shit. I actually enjoyed the whole thing. So, yeah, it was a really good show. Probably one of my top ones uh, that they did so far. I think one of is just number yeah. one. But I think oh, yeah, I still haven't seen that. I, I I really enjoyed it, and it didn't have to have a lot of the little political shit that uh, that that Winter Soldier and Falcon had and things like that. It was just like a it, honestly, it was Hawkeye and Die Hard mixed together kind of thing, and that's why I really that. enjoyed about it. I still, I still like Winter Soldier better because I like the people. Yeah. <laughs> I just like Winter uh, the guy. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, Mackie, so those are my dudes. But uh, I, I, but I liked this one because it shows how humble and how modest, and then just like the 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 character work and like the, the Hank Pym fucking trick arrow and things like that. There was a lot of things I liked about the show. It was like, yeah, yeah. it was really good. They did a good job with the character Hawkeye. Yeah. Their version of the character Hawkeye. Yeah, good. I agree. Like I, I don't. I, yeah, I don't good. like Kate Bishop after the show. Like, not the not not that I don't like the the portrayal of the character. I yeah. just like if you tell me, uh, should I would you want to hang around this person in a life or death situation? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hang around Kate Bishop because she do some <laughs> dumb shit and get you killed. Yeah, um, that's that's kind of the funny thing about the show is is the as as good as everybody's uh is in the show yeah and how how everybody's a good actor and actress and whatnot they play their parts very well yeah man a bishop is an unlikable character for me because <laughs> she is in it she is she is literally like the most dangerous person on that show <laughs> doesn't listen to anything like, i understand being confident in your own abilities but bruh you have not been battle tested <laughs> what are you doing why should i ever listen to what you say yeah. <laughs> and you just don't listen it was like she she's almost as unlikable as robin was in batman forever and yeah. batman and robin <laughs> where it's just like why is this character such a dick <laughs> man yeah. I, I liked it i liked her her characters i think she was a but yeah actress. she made me laugh like yeah. that's the that's the whole thing about her it's like yeah. man she's such a jerk but it's it's good because the 
the qualities of character are being played well. Is it, what it is. It's funny. Um, she does a Mar- she does another Marvel character. You know that? No, I did not know that. She is Spider Gwen and into the Spider Verse. Other uh, voice for the Gwen. Movie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she That's interesting. interesting. Yep. But I don't know why they keep doing that. Because pe- somebody yes. made a list recently of how many people have played other people, and it's more than. Well, she's just than, a voice like, actor, though. Know. Yeah, but I, regardless. Just they keep doing that. Well, if they make they just her real, have the I, same people play somebody else. And like, I, I honestly right. think, Come I back. honestly think, if yo they make a real Gwen Stacy, uh, Spider Gwen for Sony, I think she play a perfect Gwen, <laughs> Spider Gwen. No, too. just get somebody else. <laughs> you can't have all the same people, man. Because then you gotta have the part where when you wh- what happens when you guys come together, they go, all right, let's have a nice uh, team up movie. I don't yeah, think we can't use that. the same girl. You can't no. You can't be in this one because you play this character. Like you imagine the Spider-Man and Fantastic Four. Uh, not Spider-Man. Um, the Avengers can't team up with the Fantastic Four. Yeah, they can't because Chris well, Evans can't they, be. Well, they're gonna <laughs> recast. They, they're no, gonna no, recast no, Fantastic no, no. Four. Listen, listen. We live, and Chris we Evans live in, is gone already. No, this is the world we live in now. As of right now, there's only two. There's only two Johnny Storms. There's the one in the. <laughs> Well, yeah, just Michael There's B. Jordan one in the too. Yeah, Killmonger movie that we saw, <laughs> we watched that 1994 Fantastic Four, and then there's the other one in the 2000s, and it's Chris Evans. Yeah, and then you also got Michael B. Jordan. We don't count that one. That don't exist. He was Killmonger as well. That don't exist. That's it. That's it. He was Killmonger. That's it. <laughs> that other one don't exist. Nah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, it, so. I, I really enjoyed Hawkeye. Uh, Book of Boba Fett so far is so good. I'm, I'm actually digging it. I can't wait for Wednesday to see the next episode. And, and Chung Lee is also, it. Always makes me happy to see her in there. So. Also, that is a Disney Plus thing, right? Yes, it is. Disney okay. Plus. So there you go. Oh, wait. You said um, Chung Lee's in it? Wow. Yeah. She's Chung Lee's in like there. a major character. Oh, yeah. and what's, is there another another like superhero-ish type show that she was in? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It was okay. I did she's not see in, it. She's she's in um all three uh Disney she's in she's in the Disney multiverse pretty much. Who like, is is she an important character in that show? She voiced Mulan. No no I, I, yeah, yeah no I'm just saying and she I didn't that's the one I did not she see. She was like one of the main uh agents. Okay. Okay. She was in Agents of Shield, she was in Mulan, and she's in uh she's in Star Wars now and Book mm-hmm. of Wolf. She's a main character there too. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Look at her using all the universes. Chun Li did not stop this lady from having a good career. What happened to Kristen Kirk? I don't know. Legend of Chun Li is. <laughs> that was a hell. She, she did that hummingbird kick, and they were like, "No more moves for her." No, we gotta lock you out. Sorry. That's it. No more. You weren't. Man, fire. that movie was really bad. It was. I saw something recently though of somebody threw their phone on stage and Will I Am picked it up at a Black Eyed Peas concert. Yeah, he asked for it basically. But then I I saw something that made me laugh because the guy who played Vega is in a member of the Black Eyed Peas, and I was just like, man, you are so lucky. That's when that's why I was I knew that movie was gonna suck because I was like, God, oh, look, the Black Eyed Peas member in it. That's why it's gonna suck. <laughs> I mean, well, listen. Look, if look you say what that, happened to X Men: X-Men Origins. I be able to say if you say that, I can say Origins is yeah, trash. Exactly. I, I will. I will put that at the bottom of any list when it comes to those. I'll put that lower than the night the the ones we have to watch for this list. Yeah. The two thousand one. Yeah. I put, I would put Origins lower than that. I do not like that movie. I hated that movie. I liked the and game. That, it's a very most. <laughs> Of of subtle Hollywood racism, I feel of the the black dude that had like the godlike power set just dies. What? Yeah, his power set was like did, he could teleport and like well not tell yeah 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 basically yeah he was like the son of the the well not the son of they literally turned his character into Will I Am's character in that in that uh, the Wolverine Origins movie bullshit like. We should we should talk about this movie. <laughs> we should continue on. Um, cause I try to think about origins and I just get upset. That movie 
I, I hear if you if you want, want, would like to hear a hot take, because I've I see so many people say that that movie is a good movie. That is my most overrated like comic book movie. What is Origins? Origins? Origins. Yes. I have never. I have personally never have met one person that said that movie was great. Really? I constantly. Oh my lord! And then Dude, if they I do, so I take them out my life. They didn't ain't talking <laughs> to me no more. <laughs> Fuck you. We not friends no more, and you dead to me. Because <laughs> I've the like the the consensus really is that, that movie is good. I'm just like that movie is jank. Kevin Bacon is not a good Sebastian. Oh, you talking about First Class? Oh, First Class. Yeah, my bad. We talking about Origin. <laughs> yeah, Origin. This too. Yeah. Yeah, First Class is the one with um, First Class. Is Havoc the one, was yeah. the next. See, one. I was backward. Okay, okay, I was back. So I liked. I didn't mind First Class because I liked the whole Magneto. No. I liked the Xavier Magneto shit. No. But I hated the I team. Can't. I don't like that movie at all. It's understandable. I, I, I can understand that. Dislike that movie for so many different reasons. Yeah. They turn Havoc into the hula hoop guy. What? What? Yeah. That made no sense. The black dude with the guy like power set just dies. Yeah. Just, he dies. just dies. He just dies. I didn't I like Kevin the X-Men crew. Trash. I didn't like the, the mutants they chose. I didn't like none of that. I, I, I liked it. White Queen, White Queen was all right. I just think uh, right. the only thing I liked about it was the Xavier and Magneto shit. Other than that, I don't remember the movie at all. Fast Bender, overrated back, you know. Give me Ian McKellen any day, and even if he can't act because he's too old, just yeah. <laughs> let me look at an old picture of him as Magneto. Nah. I don't. Fast Bender overrated as Magneto. That's not my Magneto. Nah. 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 I guess we I might have to go through these movies again. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you to him. watch Bonkers. I'm gonna get you to watch X Men First Class. So, I might say I like Origins more than First Class because at least Origins makes me laugh. Because it's bad. Origins is bad. <laughs> um, but it makes me laugh for the choices what? they made. I haven't watched that, Origins. What's, what's that Deadpool thing's name? What, um, what was like they ended up calling him at the end of the movie? Like X11 or something like that? That thing is so terrible, but I can't help but laugh when I see it. I re- refuse to call it Deadpool. Like, that's not no, Deadpool. No, it's, it's X11. The blob I thought was hilarious. Like that, I'll give him credit for. Yeah, I like how I kind of like how the blob looks. He's a mess. Um, they wasted Gambit. They wasted Gambit. Yeah, they Will wasted I Am Gambit. played a, a a super important character in Nightcrawler's story, and that went nowhere. Yeah. Just uh, let's just put him in the movie to put him in the movie. Yeah. There was a lot of bad Fox X Men stuff. I didn't like a lot of the movies. I was never a big fan of the movie series. I only period. like X2. X2, I, I think, is the only like one X2. that was exception. And even that one, I have issues with. It's not perfect, but like, it's head and shoulders the best one. That I was the only one I liked. Those. And I do three. like the jug. I'm the juggernaut bitch in part three. I'm I didn't not like gonna. Three. I, that was for me. That was yeah. for me. I remember my way productions. Did you Did you ever see that? Which one? The original. Okay, so the, before YouTube was like. Yeah, but I remember the drug not bitch shit. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, the, the, those guys, and that was a nod to that, and that's like one of the only reasons I like that. Because that's the shit that, that, that um, uh, Biggie and Charles. Uh, the, that's the reason why they call each other Charles, um, Tyler Breeze and Biggie. It's because gotcha. of that video. Okay. Okay. Get out my head, Charles. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason why they call each other Charles. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I was never a big a big X Men fan at all. I did not like the X Men movies. Why is Big E not in the X Men? Come he on, should be. Big E could play. He could play Maggie. Huh? <laughs> why, would, why would you give him that? Because he. <laughs> okay, you know what? You say that, and I and I'm get upset. But if anybody can make that character shine, it would be Big E. He'd be blue. It'd be a blue guy. A little blue With pecs. Man. All right. And make his pecs dance. Well, he yeah. makes the little maggots dance. There you go. When he flexes his backs, okay, all right. <laughs> but yeah, I was never a big fan of the X Men movies. I even tried to watch the last ones, and I did not care for them. That oh, that last one with the the, the redheaded the the new the new Jean Grey. Ooh, yeah. that was a bad. I, I honestly did not even bother watching them. That was a bad, except for the scene where Hugh Jackman came out of the tank or whatever. Yeah, like he escaped. Yeah, into the snow. 
I was like, he left for a better movie. Naked. <laughs> but he left for a better movie. You're I still have to watch the second Wolverine movie. <laughs> oh, I heard the, that, was like, that was at least all right. The Wolverine, yeah. The one, yeah, when he goes to Japan. Um, yeah, I was never a big fan. Maybe Days of Future Past was okay. I I'll like, give it yeah, okay. okay. I have to give credit. I like that. Cause I didn't, was cool. There was things I didn't like about it because I hate I hated Mystique's character. I hated that they tried to make her a yeah, fun character and it pissed me off. Because... But, I just not. I fan. I see. I understand and don't. And I understand why somebody would be for and against that because I, unfortunately, unfortunately, that's just what happens to the character. Yeah. Like Mystique did have a run where they she was like the most over, ex like man. Why is she on every comic? Yeah. So it did happen, but like this was post that. Yeah. So it's just like y'all behind. Yeah, it was between also, her and Wolverine. They're always in like every fucking thing. But also, she's all right. Jennifer Lawrence, she's, Meh. she's all right. She's meh. I still like. I still for the visual. I still would take Rebecca Lawrence still yeah. over her. But like, we're talking about lemons and lemons because they're both not great movies. Yeah. <laughs> not great movies. All right, I'm talking about not great movies. Well, that's that's the key. That's that's you. <laughs> you feel that way. Yeah, yeah, I I feel this way. This is probably one of the other movies that we have. Like, most of our movies, we are very close. There's several ones that we're not close with, and this is part of them mm-hmm. as well. Yes, sir. This is why so we this works. one. So for our two decades of comic book and superhero movies, this week we have Orgasmo, 1997. It was released. In the U.S. on October twenty third, ninety eight. So this is technically not ninety seven, but it was released in Canada. I where I believe uh, was it Trey and Matt are from. Yep. So it released on September six. So there you go. Um, this movie stars. Well, well, it's directed by Trey Parker. Uh, of South Park fame. It is written by both uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, so 100% South Park. Uh, s- starring Trey Parker as Joe Young slash Orgasmo. Uh, Diane Bacar as well, uh, yeah, Dean. excuse me, because they say Diane. Dean Bacar as Ben Chaplesky. Uh Robin Lynn Rob as Lisa. Uh, Michael Dean Jacobs as Max Orbison. Ron Jeremy as Clark. I thought he had like a villain name. <laughs> uh, Andrew Kelmer as Rogers. David Dunn as A Cup. I thought he was hilarious. What a piece of garbage. Uh, Matt Stone as Dave the Lighting Guy, which I was like, <laughs> messed up character. Uh, Toddy Walters as Georgie. Chasey Lane as Candy. Julie Ashton as Safi. Uh, Ma- Masao Maki as G Fresh. G Fresh, it's another trash character. Um, that's about it. The I know the henchmen. They they kind of had some time. Uh, Jimmy the Fish, Joey the Shark, Randy the Guppy, and Robert. Yeah, uh, yeah. Robert White, I think, was the other guy. Those were like the four guys that came in there and beat up the Japanese dude. Mm-hmm. So that's about it. Nobody else really of note in this movie. I don't think, right? Mm-hmm. No, so, uh, so the the gist of this story is is basically casting for a a, a a superhero porn movie. Um, but the ba- it's it's the backdrop to two Mormons that are going around, going door to door, um, and kind of. Well, early on, it's the trials and tribulations of those two guys trying to get people to even listen to them. Like, it's, it's rough. I imagine in real life, it's probably just as bad. It's probably even worse. People probably do worse things to the people like that. Um, so you have that at the beginning, and that's Trey Parker is one of them. Um, and, like, eventually they get to the, 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 the porn set for Orgasmo, right? Where he's a superhero in a terrible outfit that uh, it, it opens up with a 
one of the ladies and Ron Jeremy is like about to terrorize her, which in 2021 is not far from the actual truth, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then he crashes through a wall. He's played by a different guy. That guy sucks, so they want to get rid of him. And then the Mormons come ringing the doorbell. The security guy's like, oh, I mean, the porn director's like, oh, please go kill them. I don't know if he's serious, uh, which makes it even weirder. Uh, so, like, a lot of the stuff is kind of played for a joke, but it, it, it's also like, is do they really want them to die? I don't know. Yeah, he did. Because, yeah, he exactly. pulled out a box knife on exactly. Um So then you have that whole thing, and then Trey Parker's character ends up beating up the security guard and then he ends up beating up more security guards in like a, a pretty funny fight scene i thought and then that's how he ends up becoming cast as orgasmo which is the lead for the film uh the problem is he is a devout mormon so uh why would he do this you say is because he needs the money to get married because that's the that's the entire reason why he's out and about is because he's like technically supposed to be getting money for his wedding yeah so he calls back to his wife and kind of leaves out the fact of what type of movie it is at first he says it's like a death of a salesman i believe it is and then so that basically is the beginning of like the the, the adventure is is his character a mormon casting this weird ass porno movie and then just a cast of characters that is just around that whole thing it's, it's so like the south park is basically like a side story if you want to just think of it that way as a side story to a south park character yeah the thing that i think makes it funny is because having watched the show realizing that he's one of the main voices of a lot of the, the background characters he's like mr garrison He's a, he's a few other characters, but his voice in this one, you could clearly hear he sounds like Mr. Garrison. Yeah. So when some other ridiculous stuff happens and he's talking, it just starts making me die laughing. It really just does. So again, that's probably my my angle from this movie is I like it more from uh, these other guys that made South Park type yeah. of they made this movie. So so it is early in their career, so some of the stuff is not like already played out to me. I have only seen I have not seen this movie I've only seen like bits and pieces of it so like some of some of the stuff is just straight up ridiculous it's insane um did you have anything that you remember um, from the movie? again I'm not the biggest South Park fan so I'm not like really in keen with South Park and the humor and stuff like that so Usually, if I I have to be asked or like told what episodes to watch, if not, I literally don't have interest in whatsoever. So this pretty much wasn't my, like I, there was things that caught me and I was like, heh, heh. but other than that, I didn't really like even laugh out loud. It was just like a lot of shit just going on, and I was just like, this is fucking ridiculous. What the fuck I'm watching? And um, yeah, there was a lot of shit like that. I, it was not it was not something for me. Like I actually didn't find it that funny and. I just wanted the movie to end. <laughs> so did you? Did you have a part that really turned you off to the movie? What was like uh, the part that it was you... just like, so it was just just the back and forth of everything, and it just kind of just went right. It kind of went back and forth of everything. So throughout the in the beginning, during the movies and and them doing it, and then they fighting crime outside and going back into the same people that line up being like the head of things and shit like that. It was just like I I got tired of the story really fast. I saw where it was going and I just like I had no interest in it. Gotcha. So yeah, if you if you don't like the the South Park you type of humor, yeah, yeah. one hundred percent, because that's what literally what this movie is. Yeah. So it was not for me. It was extremely like it wasn't even like sit there and let the the funny part hit you. It's just a bunch of ridiculous stuff happening. Yeah. So like I definitely get it, but I like I. I appreciate the randomness of this of this movie so cool. that's that's one of the reasons why i like it because the premise of the movie is ridiculous already yeah. i'm pr I, like it doesn't they don't have to say it's based on a true story but if you told me this actually happened to a mormon i would believe it <laughs> i believe it all right so uh where is this going in your list for me it's gonna get a four 
because uh, like Alexa, like I said, a lot of the stuff hit for me. Yeah, okay. the, 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 the wackiness of it. So your and, fours... and it wasn't too long. That's the thing. It was uh, our. It was, oh, also we didn't say it was rated NC seventeen. Yeah. And it was an hour thirty four. So this, I think, this is the first NC seventeen movie on the list, right? Yes. We did not watch Showgirls, right? No, we did not. Because that is not a comic book movie, <laughs> and she is not a superhero. So your fours consist of Superman the movie, The Crow, Power Rangers the movie, Black Mask, Dick Tracy, Flash Gordon. Uh, I put it at the behind Flash Gordon. Okay. So. Alright, so that'd be your number uh number that for you. It'll be your number eighteen movie. Okay. Um I honestly did not there's not a lot for me to go by. I, I just didn't really care for the movie. It's not really for me, but there was things that caught me off guard. Uh have I seen better movies that I enjoyed more? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go in the lines of two and it's gonna go over Batman and Robin, so I, I guess I laughed a little bit more <laughs> with that one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right. That's. I'll give it a two. Like I, I was not for me. Uh, I will right. say the one thing I could say about it is that even though the subject matter is pretty, is raunchy and stuff. Yeah. Is it still kind of still holds up because the the it doesn't have any of the the. The stuff that makes you groan because it's insensitive. And yeah. So like, I at least give them the credit for all the stuff where they have like the gimp character, they have the the the, the fat lady, yeah, and that ends up being in the trailer for the movie is the the the, the fat lady just on top of him and whatnot. Yeah, it still isn't a movie where you can go like, oh, that's just you can't say that no more. You know, that's <laughs> yeah, the yeah. that one. That's one thing that surprised me. Yeah, the 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 gangster Japanese dude. That's yeah. like, what's up? But it's like he never at any point says anything that's like offensive. So like like a what was it? Um, postal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. not like as extreme as postal. It's not as extreme in that sense as postal. Yeah. So. Um. So next week, uh, we have Spawn. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it holds up. Yeah, I haven't watched it in such a long time, so I'm hoping it holds up too. So we are done going. We are down to our last eleven movies. Mm-hmm. So we have Spawn, Star Kid, Steel, Blade, Inspector Gadget, Mystery Men, Virus, Sinister, Toxic, Toxic Adventure Returns, uh, The Crow Salvation, The Specials, Unbreakable, X Men. Okay. So we are going out with a whimper, huh? I said going out with a whimper. Oh, yeah. Uh, Yeah, we got 11 more to go. And then we have to decide what we do after this. But we have a couple conversations going on to see what we do next. So uh, we'll get there when we get there. So, yeah, Mm -hmm. next week, Spawn. Yes, sir. Um, Anything else? No, that's about it. All right. So. We can wrap this up. Thank you for listening to another episode of the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. Make sure you catch us anywhere and everywhere. Red Cyclonic, that is Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. That is YouTube. That is SoundCloud. That is Spotify. And make sure you check out the WordPress. So, we you at, Mert? Follow me on all uh, the social media, uh, Tumblr. Uh, I forget my stuff. My whole shit. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and Twitch. All Mark with the Mic. Follow our Facebook pages, The Rest Cycle Link, and The Wrestling Bible pages. Also, follow our monthly cast, The Morphin Cast, uh, Shell Shock, The Game of Rage, and Another Tracky Podcast. We are there monthly. We will have new episodes recording sometime this week. So definitely stay tuned for those. Uh, we do have um, our Super Sentai, uh, Decker Ranger, and um, Season 5 of Turtles up. So definitely listen to those. Um, other than that, I told you guys stop feeding him, but y'all keep doing that. So until 2022, stop doing him shit.
Hostages now! 